how to add more games to your mini SNES Classic. This process is fairly straightforward, but there's always a chance to break something, so be careful during the kernel dump, custom firmware install, and game transfer process. Step 1. Download HackChi 2.20 from ClusterM's GitHub account. Download the first zip file on the list. Save this file to a directory that you can easily access, such as the desktop or downloads folder. Step 2. Extract the contents of the HackChi zip file with 7-zip or Windows Explorer. You will see that I extracted these files out on my desktop. These next two steps may differ from other directions or videos you may have watched or read, but I have found it easier to simply put the mini SNES into the configuration mode before using the HackChi software. Connect a USB cable from your Windows-based PC to your console. You can use the included USB cable that comes with your unit. Hold the reset button and then power on the console. Release the reset button after a few seconds. Step 5. Start the HackChi program and select the games you would like to add to your mini SNES. For my example, I am using some of my favorite childhood games, Gradius 3 and The Legend of the Mystical Ninja. I simply add games from ROM files and then configure the box art that will display on the mini SNES menu. I have the option of using Google Images to find SNES box art or to upload custom box art. Step 6. This next step is for those who have not installed the mini SNES driver. If you have this installed, skip this step. When you begin to sync your console with new games, you may be prompted to install the mini SNES driver. Our console needs to be connected and in configuration mode before we install the driver, which are steps 3 and 4. Click on the message that says, Install Driver. If you get the found USB device message, then move on to the next step. If the driver did not install, then you will get NES Mini not found. If this happens, power off your Mini SNES and repeat steps 3 and 4 from earlier. Step 7. After the Mini SNES driver is installed, select the Sync button to transfer your games. Please do not disconnect or power off your console during this process until it is finished, as it is possible to break your console. Three things are happening here during this step. First, HackSheet makes a copy of your original Mini SNES kernel, should you decide to revert back to the original firmware. Second, HackSheet installs a custom firmware. Third, HackSheet transfers the games. When you get a message that says done, wait a few seconds before you power off the Mini SNES and unplug the USB cable. And there you have it. After I've gone to uh, finished transferring the games and plugged in my mini SNES, you'll notice you have a blue subfolder here, which contains the two games I added, in this case, Gradius 3 and The Legend of the Mystical Ninja. Just to let you folks know that these two games were some of my favorite games playing. Uh, <laughs> some of my favorite games growing up. I am, fortunately, I have to admit that uh, I've never beaten Gradius 3 without cheating and using the Konami code. Uh, still, I hope to beat this entire game without cheating once or running out of continuance. As much as I do appreciate uh, your folks and your viewership to see this small video, I actually would appreciate it if you would send Cluster M a thank you or a small donation or however way you'd like to express your gratitude uh, to him for being able to come out with these tools. Also, thank you to the mini SNES subreddit and kind of reading their little antics about trying to get a, a mini SNES console. I myself waited at con my local Walmart for one. Uh, most of all, I hope that you found this video useful in being able to add games that you like or would like to replay from your childhood. Until then, have a nice day and happy playing.